Yeah, this is Jul Kumar Sen, and in this video tutorial, I am going to share with you a car travels 8 km in first quarter of an hour. And uh, this question already asked in gate previous year. As you can see, this is a question of time, speed, and distance. Okay, so first uh, let's read the question, then I will share with you how to solve the problems. So I am going to share with you two problems, both of them asked in gate previous year and uh, you know the formula the relationship we will use for both the problems that is speed is equal to distance by time probably you also know this formula but even then after knowing the formula it is a little bit difficult to solve problems like this because this is not like that uh, that just we have given all things two things we have to find out the third one this is a little bit difference okay there is a little bit difference so we need to understand the question and then we can solve it right away okay so for solving this type of question we need to have have an approach as well as we have to put focus to the to solve the question right away so here we got a question that is in this question we have given a car travels 8 km in first quarter of an hour so in one hour if it is talking about quarter that means we have to divide in four parts total time is 60 minutes so 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes and 15 minutes so in the first part it is traveling 6 km and then 6 km in the second quarter okay so this is in kilometer this is in kilometer and 16 km in the third quarter okay the average speed of the car in kilometer per hour the entire journey is that means we have to find out average speed well in the gate problems i have seen few questions related related to time speed and distance they always ask most of the time they have asked find out average speed so you need to understand this is really important for you if you are preparing for gate examination then you need to grab the concept of finding out average speed from the time speed distance problem because they are most of the time they are asking such type of question that's why i am saying this so if you can grab the question like this or you can draw the question like this then things become quite easier for you because you know average speed is equal to a total distance total distance by total time time taken or total time so in this question we can see total distance how much total distance 8 6 16 total time 15 plus 15 plus 15 this is the total time so 15 plus 15 plus 15 so 8 and 6 14 14 plus 16 30 and this one 15 15 15 that means it's 45 it's 45 now what you are going to do you are going to do like this so it's 2 by 3 and it is not matching with the answer We'll go like this only if we haven't solved or you haven't practiced before solving this question. Can you guess where exactly we are lacking? We are lacking just a simple thing that is here. We are taking this in minute and we have to find out kilometer per hour. We have taken this distance in kilometer but this one we are taking in minute. So what we have to do? We have to multiply with 60 that is 20 and 20 multiple to 40 kilometer per hour its average speed then which option is the right option right uh, answer you can easily uh, grab it you can easily check it you can easily find out that is option c i hope you understand this question right so let's go for the next problem which has been also asked in get previous year and this one is more interesting I mean, this one is really simple but yes you have to uh, you have to understand the question first so what we have been asked in this question we ha they have asked in this question that a tourist covers half of the journey by train again we have to make a diagram okay 
so let's say total journey is here okay so they said half of the journey so let's say total journey distance is x half of the journey x by 2 and its half of the journey speed is kilometer per hour okay 60 kilometer per hour half of the remainder so half is here so half the remainder x by 4 it's 30 kilometer per hour and the rest by cycle it's 10 kilometer per hour okay so they have okay this one is also x by 4 so what they told us to find out that is average speed of the of, of his entire journey okay and we have to find out in kilometer per hour okay so these two things we need to notice the in unit in which unit we need to find out and what we need to find out once we'll come to know about it we can solve the problem right away but we have to have an approach like this to solve the problem right away if you are beginner if you are or you have already solved 10 15 question related to time speed distance then things become quite easier for you to understand and to solve okay now as we know in the previous problem i have shared with you that average speed is equal to total distance by total time total distance is how much here x now total time i don't know i don't know but i can find out from here how let me share with you suppose that for first half i wanted to find out total time taken by the tourist then i know the speed is equal to distance by time so time is equal to distance by speed how much distance the tourist is cover x by 2 speed 60 so for the first half we got this for the second half like the same way we can say x by 4 divided by 30 for the third half also i can say x by 4 divided by 10 are you getting my point by addition of all these we will get total time right now i have to write that so x by 2 plus by 60 plus x by 4 by 30 x by 4 by 10 got it now i have to just simplify it that is 60 x by 2 multiple 1 by x by 2 multiple 1 by 60 x by 4 multiple 1 by 30 okay am i doing right or not can you share with me okay so x by 4 multiple 1 by 10 okay now what i can do i can do one thing that is pretty clear that is i have to take lcm but before going to take lcm i have to do further simplification x by 120 x by 120 3 4 and x by 40 so I can take LCM of 120 here. So let's say 120 x is outer side. So x plus x plus 3 4 3 x right. So x by 5 x by 120. So we can write x by 1 120 by 5 x. So x x get cancel 5 5 2 and 4. So unit would be in kilometer per hour so what is the uh, answer for this question 24 kilometer per hour average speed by the tourist so as in the previous question i have shared with you that its common formula is this speed is equal to distance by time that is nothing more than this but we, can you imagine how the problem can be complex? If you have practice, then you can solve. Otherwise, probably you may face problem if you are uh, if you are calculating the answer first time. I hope you understand the question, and probably in upcoming examination you can do much better. 
uh, best of luck for that and thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye